You ever think that cars have like eye faces on the back of them? We always talk about it in the car. Look at that. That guy looks like he has eyebrows, two eyes, and a mouth. He's kind of smiling like a jack-o'-lantern. It's pretty funny. PDQ. Look at this. See all the times that we came here? This is the cheap seats effect. Thanks for watching our videos, guys. Starting off the day at PDQ, it's our wonderful breakfast because nobody woke up early. I love their chicken strips and their fries, and so does Jesse. And for everybody that was waiting to look for Jesse recently, here she is. Happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs> so we do got Jesse. Gotta go to the mall. Gotta get Jesse some stuff. We need some for her today. That's for her. We're done with the mall, but yay! Look at the way this guy parked. Good job. Guess what, everybody? It's raining outside. Illuminati. So by the way, um, hours have passed since we went to the mall. And now, for Jessie's day here, she's got purple hands. She's not Grimace. We're not eating a lot of PB&J. She's dyeing her hair. That's her crazy thing. Going purple. Action shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mary has to stand on a stool because Jessie's too tall for her. This is a two-man operation now. Yep. That looks like uh, gumdrops so or like gumballs. <laughs> Hair dye, yum. So here's the finished product. You can't really see. It's kind of like a swing and a miss, except for the scalp where you can see it. But um, the streaks that you had bleached came out, and then you can see like highlights. So I can see it towards the TV on this side. Yeah. So you have some purple highlights. But not completely purple here. No, it was a temporary color, so it's not going to be that strong. Yeah. What do you think? No thoughts? It smells good. It smells like grapes. Mmm. Grape hair. No. Oh, by the way, that's Jesse's nose ring, except that's not the <laughs> permanent ring she got a ring today. That's one of the things that we did at the mall, but what happened? Oh, I dropped my stud down the, the sink. Yes. I think we're going to have a quiet indoor night. And we're watching this. Scooby-Doo meets Kiss. Or Scooby-Doo and Kiss. It's a rock and roll mystery original movie. And then maybe we'll watch something related to Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> Sammy settles in. So far so good. Look at this. How could they not have a tie-in at Universal Studios? They're going to Kiss World. Dressed as Kiss. Scooby-Doo, owned by Universal, at Kiss World, Scooby-Doo, Universal. I do not like this. Well, I just caught a glimpse of the future. Yeah, and I bet the future is a redhead. <laughs> they need a redhead. They need a redhead. And it was the star child that said it. I know. <laughs> it never happened. We all have what you call a mass hallucination. We just finished watching... Scooby-Doo and Kiss. I don't know, look at what the name was, because I think it's just the Scooby-Doo and Kiss movie. It's Scooby not like Kiss meets the Kiss. Phantom of the Park but or anything like that. It's called the Rock and Roll Mystery Original Movie. Yes, that's what it's called. I really enjoyed it. We have Jesse here. What'd you think? It was okay. They were high. <laughs> yes. We'll get to that. What did you think? I thought it was awesome. It was so awesome. <laughs> We've got to get a quick Mary scale here. On a scale of one to five. Four point eight. <laughs> Four point eight. <laughs> that was, we scored this movie better than Mission Impossible. Yes. <laughs> what did you think? About what? The movie. Ranking out of five? Three point five. Okay. I think uh, it was like a four, probably. Um, if you are a hardcore Kiss fan, you're going to love this. It's been a long time since I've seen a Scooby-Doo movie. A long time since I've seen Scooby-Doo all together. There's all different voice actors, um, obviously, um, but because uh, Casey Kasem. But um, there's uh, there's just tons of talent in this movie. Gary Marshall, Penny Marshall, obviously Kiss, um, and there's somebody that ties into maybe something we're gonna watch in a little bit. We can give you that answer afterwards. 
And uh, also, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes are in the movie also as little cameos. Uh, but this movie has everything. 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 Look at you. It doesn't have Eddie. But it does have everything from tons of music to every type of like little Easter egg reference. If you are a hardcore Kiss fan, there is so much in this movie that makes you laugh because it goes back to different things. I don't want to give it away. Mm -mm. But um, it's really enjoyable. There's like seven Kiss songs throughout the movie also and some just ultimate ridiculousness. But like Jesse said before... <laughs> They were high! Yes, part of the movie, I think it's part of the inside joke for people all of these years has been, you know, obviously Scooby and Shaggy, uh, Shaggy are maybe indulging in some adult um, some illegal, illegal substances. Illegal activities. <laughs> maybe not illegal in cartoon world like oh, in uh, Colorado in or Colorado. some other places, but um, there is a direct reference to that in the movie where they play it up. <laughs> They, they actually, it's, <laughs> it's, in, it's baked, it's literally, it's baked into the movie. It is. <laughs> it's, baked, it's fully baked into the movie. So, anyway, I'd check it out. I probably, you know, like I said, for, you know, if you're a hardcore Kiss fan, I loved watching it. It made me think of different Kiss stuff. So, Kiss to me, top ten band my entire life. One of my biggest influences for playing music. You know, oh, along with Van okay. Halen, um, ACDC, Kiss, Cheap Trick, those are like... Oh, yeah. My big bands for wanting to play music, but any other thoughts? Oh. Purple hair? <laughs> Jessie's getting sick, so everybody was asking, where's Jessie? Now she's back home, and we get her back home, and she's... She's got a cold. Like that. <laughs> and I think we're going to watch something else now. So the second movie of the night... We're going to watch the original Scream. Why? Why are we watching Scream? Because it's one of the properties that hasn't been announced yet for Halloween Horror Nights. But I think it's probably the worst kept secret at this point. It's just a question of whether it will be based off of the movie or based off of the TV show that's going on now. I think if it's based off the TV show, there will be legions of fans that are screaming on the interwebs and Twitterverse that they're angry. But in the meantime, we're gonna get re-familiar really with the movie Scream. Never one of my biggest movies to want to watch because it's more of, I think, of a play-up of the movies that I grew up watching, like um, Halloween and Friday the 13th and those types of movies, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, stab horrific movies, but what are you going to do? I thought it was cool. I like yeah. Scream. It's all right. We'll see. Well, Scream is over. What did you think? I know we've um, seen this a million times. Yeah, I've seen it a million times. Mary Scale. Oh boy, uh, I can't rate this one. Um, I have no idea. I gave it a three out of five. I was gonna say about a three, three and a half. It's uh, it's a slasher movie, mm -hmm. and watching it again didn't make me love it any more than I already liked it. But no, but it's always something you watch. They gonna make a house out of it, you know? What are we gonna have? Um, Ghostface killer jump out every two seconds in a different form. What a knife. Yeah. Oh well. Jump scares. That's what it'll be. <laughs> maybe yeah. in the ceiling, maybe on the floor, maybe out of a closet. Yeah, definitely. Halloween Horror Nights, yay. Maybe in the woods. They need comedic acts like David Car Arquette though. Yes. Maybe he'll have the WCW Heavyweight Championship around his shoulder when he jumps out. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Um, Lazy Sunday. A couple of movies. Mall shopping with Jessie. She's now left the building. <laughs> She's already seen this before. She's bored of this movie. Um, and that's about it. So thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Good night. Bye.